my brothers and sisters, pray that you've had a wonderful night's nice rest and also having a blessed day. Uh, welcome again to Daily Manor. I want to uh, f focus our attention uh, today on uh, uh, chapter 6. Uh, if you would please, the first uh, seven verses, I think I may have mentioned six last time, but we want to take a look at the first seven verses of chapter six of the book of Acts. Allow me to read the passage first. In those days when the number of disciples was increasing, the Hellenistic Jews among them complained against the Hebraic Jews because their widows were being overlooked in the daily distribution of food. So the 12 gathered all the disciples together and said, it would not be right for us to neglect the ministry of the word of God in order to wait on tables. Brothers and sisters, choose seven men from among you who are known to be full of the spirit and wisdom, we will turn this responsibility over to them and will give our attention to prayer and the ministry of the word. This proposal pleased the whole group. They chose Stephen, a man full of faith and of the Holy Spirit, also Philip, uh, Prochorus, Nicona, Timon, uh, Parmenas, and Nicholas from Antioch, a convert to Judaism. They presented these men to the apostles who prayed and laid their hands on them. So the word of God spread. The number of disciples in Jerusalem increased rapidly, and a large number of priests became obedient to the faith. Thus ends the reading of this particular passage. I'm calling it, if you will please, choosing the first office holders in the church. Some folk cites this as choosing the first deacons in the church. That may be true, but uh, I'm not going to address that particular issue at this time. I just want to focus our attention on choosing these seven persons. Why was it necessary? Well, I remember our mayor, our county mayor, uh, saying these words, he said, as the city grows, crime also grows. So here in the church, we find the church growing rapidly. And then something is detected that one group of Jews is accusing another group of Jews of discrimination. Certainly we don't want discrimination in the church of God. The apostles wanted no part of this. But at the same time, they, the apostles themselves needed to devote full time to prayer and the ministry of the word. They didn't see themselves as having the time to wait on tables. So their suggestion was for the people to choose seven persons who were full of the Holy Spirit and wisdom to take over this particular ministry of the church. Now, what was the accusation? that the uh, uh, 
the Palestinian, uh, Palestinian uh, Jews were discriminating against uh, uh, the Jews, uh, the Hellenistic Jews, I guess, who had not lived in Jerusalem for many generations. And so it was obvious that discrimination was going on in terms of the food distribution. So that's the reason why these seven persons were, were chosen to take over that particular ministry. We also know that the Jews were very concerned about uh, people who were in need. One of the practices that was going on at this particular time was that they would go out every Friday uh, seeking and asking for donations of money and goods. And later that day, they would distribute uh, these goods to the people who were in need. For some, they gave uh, uh, 14 days of rations, uh, two meals for each day. But there were always needs. Now, where did most of uh, the resources come from in order to uh, take care of persons in need? Keep in mind now, going back uh, to the first part of chapter 5, uh, where it was the practice of the members to sell their property and then take the proceeds and put them at the feet of the apostles so that they could be used to help take care of the folk who were in need. Uh, everybody uh, uh, was helpful in that regard in providing uh, for this particular uh, section of people in, in the church, the early church. Well, that was the answer to a problem. And I believe again that the Holy Spirit was prevalent and the Holy Spirit was given direction uh, to the apostles in terms of how to solve this particular problem. And it says also in this passage, as the church grew, the number of ministers, a number uh, increased as well. And the faith of these people was strong in the Lord. And something else about uh, this early church, that they were very sincere about their attendance. Something we could learn from them. They were very, very concerned about church attendance. In fact, it was a daily thing for most of them to be in the church of God. Remember, now they had no, no building to call a church, but that lets us know what the true church is. It is not a building, but a body of believers in the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord's name be praised for the early church. And we do know now that the early church uh, was of God because it still exists to this day. Amen. And we thank God for the church. Although you do know that we have not been able to assemble in a single location uh, for a number of months now, I believe it was the middle of March, uh, that uh, we had to vacate these premises. But we are praying and hoping uh, that the Lord is going to bless us so that we be able to assemble once again in this facility. Thank God for, for whom all blessings, from whom all blessings flow. Amen. Amen. Be blessed today, my brothers and my sister. God loves you, and I love you too.